So Wednesday, of course, is Fed Day, and this is a big one. Wednesday will mark the first Fed policy announcement since Jay Powell was confirmed as Fed chair by the Senate back in early February. Expectations are the central bank will raise the target range for its benchmark interest rate by 25 basis points to a new band of one and a half to one and three quarters percent. This would bring the Fed's base rate to its highest level since September 2008. We will also get to hear from Powell in an hour-long press conference that follows the Fed's 2 p.m. announcement. Now, during his recent testimony before Congress, Powell seemed to markets to be a little more laid back and a little less academically esoteric than his predecessors. We'll see if this holds up on Wednesday or if the academic nature of the central bank has started shaping Powell's public communication. Markets will also be focused on the dot plot or the projections of where rates will go this year made by Fed officials. Now, many on Wall Street expect the Fed to signal it will raise rates four times this year, which would be an upgrade from its outlook in December. And of course, here at Yahoo Finance, we'll have live coverage of the announcement, the press conference, and all the market reactions starting right at 2 p.m. Eastern and running through the closing bell on Wednesday. Now, elsewhere on the calendar, in the morning, we'll get existing home sales and weekly mortgage applications hitting the tape. And then on the earnings side, the notable results expected out should include General Mills, Guess, Five Below, and Herman Miller.